Hello, MacWarriors! How's it going? And welcome back to another episode of MacWarrior 5 Clans. I want to build another build today, and we will also take a look at our notifications. We have the ERPPC heat reduced by 10%. I love that. And the Ultra Auto Cannon cooldown as well. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and queue some more research if we can. Our available research is still strong, and I heard from some of you guys that I'm not going to be able to unlock everything. So we actually have to make uh, specific picks here. Let's go ahead and take a look at our active research. <laughs> it's zero, all right? So yeah, we put a lot of merits into our research upgrade. Let's go ahead and do something here. I want to focus down on medium pulse lasers. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is breaking. I've been sick a little bit. Um, so you guys told me that it is a good idea to do that, but I also want to get that ERPPC bonus. Uh, let me take a look here. What is the medium pulse or the pulse laser cooldown, pulse laser damage duration? Uh, not that important, but the heat I think it is. All right, we're gonna go with the cooldown here. Um, I'm also gonna go with the pulse, 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 pulse damage, I guess. There we go. And yes, we will come back to autocannons at some point. A bunch of you also said that, you know, lasers and missiles is kind of boring and you want to see different playstyles. And I, I will give it to you guys. I will give it to you. But for now, we're going to concentrate on a new build that is revolving around pulse lasers. So let's take a look at that. We got some milestones unlocked with the Timby. Beautiful. There we go. We got that going. Um, yeah, I'd say let's get into the mech bay and rebuild the Timber Wolf that is currently built with... Uh, where is it? Where is it? The laser rack, that's the one I'm looking at right now. So what we do is we're gonna drop the ER large lasers and we're gonna put medium pulse lasers into this thing. Uh, where is it? MPL laser, there we go. One, two, and three. You can see we are significantly, significantly under tonnage, but here's the thing. We will be able to put another pulse here. Lots of double heat sinks. Right arm is also filled with extended range right now. So we're gonna completely streamline that thing. Left arm, same deal. And we're almost there. There we go. So we are 74 out of 75. Center torso is also an ear medium, so we can bring all the pulses and we are fine on the tonnage. So how many pulses do we have now? I think the answer is all of them, yes. It's nine medium pulse. All right. We still have the jump jets, which I'm, uh, I'm, I think I'm okay with them, but we could also not have them and instead get a little bit more heat sinking going. This might be a little bit of a toasty boy here. We will see about it. All right, that being said, I don't want to change anything on the Warhawk. I think it's a beautiful machine. This Timber Wolf is filled with all the mediums and some lerms. We got the other Timber Wolf that is the Ballistic One and the Hellbringer for some good old electronic warfare. One ER large, five mediums, and I think one uh, LRM-15. Okay, looking good, guys. I'd say one more thing. Let's take a look at the barracks. Let's take a look at Ezra, because he's the one with the energy range and cooldown bonuses, and that's already maxed out. Beautiful. I think I want to give him the Timberwolf affinity, because I believe he's going to be the man for it. Yeah, let's, let's give him that. All right, confirm that. Okay, the next affinity unlocks at... At 16. Now, here's the thing. We could just unlock something like handling or melee or ballistic cooldown, which is very, very cheap. Um, but I want to actually upgrade evasion more than anything. It makes so much more sense right now. Jaden doesn't get it. Again, affinity unlocks here. You're like energy range, missile cooldown, ballistic cooldown. I still believe the Timber Wolf is a staple. I could see him running a Dire Wolf at some point. So let's hold on to this, right? Yeah, I think we're fine. Yuchi, Yuchi? Hold up. Yeah, we lost Liam. Now Yuchi is in our squad. Interesting. Lock on time, missile range, energy range. Like, he's really good all around with missiles. I think I actually wanna make him a Timberwolf supporter. Man, I think the Timberwolf is just good. So let's give him the Timber Wolf affinity and the Heavy Mech affinity. There we go. And then we could give him even another one, which is um, yeah, completely unnecessary right now. Let's hold that. Let's hold that thought. All right, we have Naomi. Is able to get the next evasion skill. Again, I'm going to prioritize that over anything. Then there's Mia here. Not getting it. Um, but yeah, we got to think... It's cool tattoos, man. Like implants. Um... What do we want to do with her? She has all the ballistic upgrades, so I think evasion is gonna be the next big thing. And for now, 
Maybe forever? Timbob Wolf? Actually, I think she's gonna be really good on the Executioner. So I think we might hold onto that as well until we have unlocked it. Okie dokie. One more thing. Facilities. We could... Uh, burr, 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 burr. Where is the repair stuff here? Technician setting. We could get more technicians if we really wanted to because we got all the merits. Does it matter? I mean, upgrading these is good, I guess. It's not even that expensive. Let's max that out. Um, that's not quite there. Are we? Are we good? Is this maxed? Who knows? I mean, I cannot do it any anymore, so I, I guess we're fine. So, guys, we are getting into the next mission. Inspection Star duty. Let's go. Give me a sit rep on the status of Korshavu. Ah, Star Colonel. In the six months since our leadership returned to the homeworlds, we have pacified and dismantled the planetary militia. Since then, things have been relatively quiet. Comstar continues its administration of the civilian population, while Zeta Galaxy now manages the in-system garrison. And what of you and the rest of the 362nd? What else? We continue to repair and maintain our equipment and train for the eventual return of the Armada. Train, but nothing else, Quiff. Aff? Then it is high time you assist Zeta with some of their administration duties. Your star is to perform a routine inspection on all outbound civilian dropship traffic. Is there anything particular of note we should be aware of, Star Colonel? Neg, we are all impatiently awaiting the resumption of our invasion, Star Commander. Regardless of the 360 seconds frontline status, we all need to share the load until the fleet's return. Okay. That includes you and Cobalt Star. Understood. Ah. Good. I will leave the inspection in your capable hands, Star Commander. I don't like that Paris is so timid right now. There's something, something's gonna explode. All right, so wh what is the deal here? So we're gonna wait. This is our goal in this mission? W waiting for the Amada to return. Uh, also, Ezra needs... What does Ezra really need? I think Ezra is good on the on the medium pulse build, probably. Let's swap the max and give the Timber Wolf to Ezra. Um, yeah, I think Naomi wants to stay on the missile boat. Then there is Mia here. Yuchi? I mean, he's really good with lock-on and, like, missile stuff. I should probably build a build for him, but I think for now, this is gonna be our star. Let's go to the drop deck. We're significantly under tonnage, who cares? We have good builds. Yeah, we're good. We're gonna be. And also, why why not give us a self, ourselves a little bit of a challenge, huh? Let's do it. I think the medium pulse timber wolf will shine even more as soon as we un have unlocked the uh, upgrades after this mission. So we're gonna play it twice today. Spaceport should be dead ahead of your current position. Report back everything you find. Okay. So, Hellbringer, Timber. No, not this one. Not this one. This is the Timber. Okay. So again, we gotta remember that we got the jump jets. We can, yeah, we can jump a little bit. Jump jet fuel low. All right. Range is 468 meters, so our range upgrade, especially the one that we get from Ezra, is gonna be very handy here. So hey, we can fire off switch comes over to an early. For us. Private? What's up? I was going to ask you, why is Perez here micromanaging us on a routine inspection? Yeah. Probably pissed that he was left behind to garrison the OZ while all the other Blood Name warriors returned home. After what he did at Edo, no one wants him back in the home focus on getting this over with. Do this clean, and maybe he will move on and bug someone else. Jump jet fuel low. Alright. Uh, by the way, we should reset our weapon groups a little bit, because we have torso weapons that want to be torso fired, and then we got the arm weapons that want to be individual from that. Chain fire group on the six. I love it. Let's go. So, that's all the torso weapons, and that's all the arm weapons. Jordan Spaceport, I am Star Commander Jaden Smoke Jaguar. The clan orders you to ground all flights and submit yourselves for inspection. Open your perimeter gates immediately. 
Under whose authority? No one told us of any inspection. On the authority of Star Colonel Cordera Perez. Open your gates and submit for inspection. I will not repeat myself again. Okay, okay, we will comply with the clan. Opening gates now. All right, let's go. That is so many lasers. And they focus down on individual components quite nicely because they have such a low burn time. All right, let's go. What's gonna happen here? Not much, don't you think? Your chief? Quiet, freeborn. Your presence is likely why we got this ship, Simon. Scan mode. Mia, stop. Yuichi has earned his place with us. That's right. Has he now? Yeah. Do oh. Do you really think a spearborn serap like him can replace him? Scan mode engaged. Oh, Enough. she's pissed. All of you. We are all ready under the Star Colonel's microscope as it is. We do this by the book. At least until you... Yeah, finish. Mia... Mia has a shift of um, personality Star here. At your request, all flights have been grounded. They await inspection now. Yeah. Good. We will start with this one. Once they are inspected, are they cleared for takeoff? We need their berths for inbound flights. Yeah, I don't know. Scanning complete. Ah, once cleared, they are free to leave. Scan mode. Leopard 538, commencing inspection. Hold here. Scan Already done. Clear. You are free to leave. Thank you, Star Commander. Taking off. Ben Rothnick. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Goodbye. This one will be next. Engaged. Yeah, I think we can really find some materials here if we really Tower wanted control. to. What's the hold up? I need to get out of here or I'll miss my jump ship. Okay. Clan business, Gazelle 319. Sit tight. It will be done soon enough. Are you coming, guys? Yeah, they are. Beautiful. Approach dropship 7174 inspection. I should Unit probably... 717 yeah. commencing inspection. Oh, wait. Stay prepare to be scanned. What? What? What with Tower, the gazelle? If I don't make my jump ship to Rockland, the Skyrider's Keshik will seize my ship. I seriously can't wait for this. Scanning complete. Damn it, 319. There is nothing I can do. Cool. Don't make trouble for the rest of us. Nothing out of the ordinary. Union 717, you are free to launch when you are ready. Mm. Appreciate it, Star Commander. Suspicious. Launch sequence. Oh, Stay look at clear. this. Look at this big, big hangar and the platform that the dropship is standing on. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh oh. Ow. Yeah, what could possibly go wrong by standing beneath a launching Union class dropship, huh? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go over to the gazelle. Oh boy. We should be roasted, honestly. You know what, what What would be cool is if we would have gotten a big heat spike at the very least from this. Jardin Just Sky my two control. cents here. We have a rogue gazelle attempting to flee the Jardin spaceport. On my authority, shoot it down. Wow, Do directly? What? Star Commander, repeat that last order. Yeah. Shoot Gazelle 319 down now, on my authority. Order confirmed. Targeting Gazelle 319. Fire. The what? That's a bit drastic, don't you think? Like. Okay. Oh, that's not gonna be good in our books. Uh oh. Unneeded destruction of the well. clan infrastructure. Well. Explain yourself. Star Colonel, that gazelle refused to stand down and ran under threat of inspection. Something is going on, and I intend to find out what. The smoke jaguar pours waste, Star Commander, and your orders have resulted in multiple clan owned buildings being lost. Pray that what you find balances those scales. Uh huh. Or you will answer to me. Needless destruction of our infrastructure. Yeah, he would like that. I know. Half Star Colonel. You heard the man? Get to that gazelle. Why are we fighting already? What is happening? What's <laughs> All right. Falling in. I mean. Destroyed. Yeah. 
We can do that. A little bit of group firing here. God, these lasers. <laughs> all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. We didn't take a single point of damage on the lands. A star, sorry. Still do it. Still doing it. All right. Uh, there's more enemies here. Okay. Another one. Whoa, we're shredding. And the heat is not even that big of a problem on this one. That's crazy. And we have the jump jets to have more mobility. I wonder if there's more to find here. Okay. Oh, there we go. Crash site incoming. Is it down here? Yeah, I believe so. Friends, are you coming? Somebody's lagging behind, but you know what? I don't care. I'm gonna go in. Ah! All right, then. Reach the crash site. Why? They were on an intercept course to your down gazelle. Okay. Oh, there it is. Yeah, oh, sure. Can Try do. To leave some alive for interrogation. All right. I'm lock on. Who are they? We crushed the last Mac first. Months ago. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um we will get the answers we need. Yeah, I think I'm going to drop because it's a little bit too much for me alone. Um we certainly have the attention of the Jäger Mac. Um can I, can I get up there again? Enemy destroyed. Yeah, all right. All right. We're gonna quickly swap here. Punch back. Punch back. Uh-huh. Uh, grind through the center. <laughs> Attack. Thunderbolt. Yeah, just a good old center torso shooting here with the Hellbringer. And then there's a Warhammer. By the way, Warhammers are extremely weak on the legs. All right, let's let's do some more war crime stuff here. Destroy some more buildings. Yeah, dropping down there was probably not the best idea. <laughs> we gotta use our other mechs then. Oof, 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 oof. Okay, fall back. Did we get him? Eliminate the smugglers. Now we know already what they're up to, thanks to the mission objective. Where's the warhammer? There we go. All right, Target. we Destroyed. did it. Weapon. Ah, we are moving in. All right, we got some things to find here. I guess we have to be down there, so let's go. Another dropship. Aha! So you know what? Let's have some fun with the auto cannons right now. I think we're gonna wait for our medium pulse lasers upgrade to really make we them shine. And in the meantime, we're gonna do that. Oh, that was nothing. Because we jammed instantly. Ow up. AC-20 burst fire coming in. And it's gone. Good. What are you? You're dead. Good. Centurion next. One enemy mech down. Oh, come. I wasn't twisted in completely. <laughs> Alrighty then. Legs on the Jäger. Beautiful. Come on, take him down. Beautiful, we got it. The jams, man, the jams. Bit of a problem. Yuchi already took so much damage. <laughs> All right, back to our main mech, our command mech, our Ezra mech with the medium opposed lasers. Another gazelle. Eh, hey. Leopard. Uh-huh. Interesting. There's more stuff to find. Love it. 700 meters Orion. We are able to hit him already. With minimal damage, yes, but still. Uh-oh. What can we find here? Ammo. Okay. Um, I'm not pleased with the long range that they bring to the table on the other side, but you know what? These pulses, look at this. Holy moly. Maybe we can headshot him? He's in optimal range. Mm, we hit the head bunch of times, but it's not gonna be enough. God. In the name of Kerensky, stand down. Alright, get some ammo. Get some contraband. I guess. What's that? I don't want to really get into the water. That dropship is carrying clan military equipment. Uh-huh. How did they get that? Smugglers! Alright, there's another wave of enemies coming. You know, let's get closer. Oh, 
awesome. <laughs> Let's try to get some headshots in. I was way too low. I mean, no, not really. Good. Hey, Charger. You've got a massive cockpit. Yeah, you also got a massive center torso. You're not dead. Uh oh. All right. Dragon. Oh, big boy's coming in. Good. This is crazy. Hey, Archer. <laughs> no way. Holy crap. Dudes. I really feel... Maybe we are playing on max difficulty. I, I really feel like... This is too easy. <laughs> With the builds that we have put together here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Another leopard. Alright then. These guys mean it. Holy crap. They really want that clan technology. Yeah. Okay. Drop your thing. I'm gonna do the good old... Oh, Atlas. Uh, good old jump. Huh? Wanna hit the Atlas in the head? That was a, a hit. Not a good one. But a hit nonetheless. Come on! Attack Atlas, attack Stalker! Reactor's going up. I mean, sure. <laughs> I mean, Stalkers have a little bit more armor than the usual heavy mech. Got him, though. Yeah, we are attracting a hell lot of fire with this. You know what? We, we, we have no heat problems. Nothing. None. Zero. Okay. <laughs> yeah, careful with the team damage. Friendly fire is not friendly. There we go. Uh, who's this? A marauder? One more for me. <laughs> this is crazy. I mean, we will take some damage home with us. That's right, because we are engaging at medium to short range. So, return fire is a thing. Ah. Uh, another leopard? Hello? Oh, there they are. Oh, oh, oh. Look at this. Look, watch. Nah, okay, never mind. <laughs> have you watched this? I was a bit inaccurate there. I think we could have killed him in maybe one go? Riflemen usually have very low armor. Ah! Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I, I agree with you. You you don't like me. That's fine. Oh, sight also critical! Well. Let's send in the crew. Ay, ay, ay. Ah, that's still a lot here. Are you going, guys? Do something, please. Attack. Thank you. Hey, Orion. Huh? He's still not on me. Okay. Actually, the back shots. Weird. All right, I'll take it, though. Oh, wait. Stalker. Nah, stalker first. Nice. Oh, this is where we get critical on the heat. Can we hit the side also, which is already very damaged there? There we go. Star Colonel, all hostiles down. So hold on station. This is when we get hot. Still good enough. If anyone else approaches the or you in any way, shoot them on sight. Voices are a little bit low on the volume, still. But hey. Give me the merits. Oh yeah, we can now unlock the executioner, I think. Uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's continue. See what's what. 1600. Oh, Ezra, you're the man. Yeah, because we got all the kills. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. So let's continue. We want weapon salvage. So we're going to clear out the mech components and we're going to max out this one. And I'm probably, oh, we're already at 600. You know? We'll do it like this. Give me all the weapon components so we can upgrade our weapons even further. That's a nice brawl. That mission was a mess. No, it was Explain good. Yourself. Star Colonel, our sensors flagged clan military technology on that gazelle. When it attempted to flee, I made the call to shoot the craft down. The responsibility is mine and mine alone. Hmm. Hmm. You did the right thing given the circumstances. 
had it not been for your quick thinking. They might as well have escaped with samples of our superior technology. Has the ISF returned? Unknown at this time. But with those unidentified battle mechs defending that wrecked craft, you may be right. The thing I do not understand is, why now? We have been without blood named warriors for over six months and there has been no trouble. Not since the planetary militia fell. It will be up to us to find out. It is likely that the ISF lay dormant, waiting for us to let our guard down. Your vigilance today saved our military secrets from being captured by the enemy. This time, their emergence here may be a precursor to something bigger. Yes, Star Colonel. Two objectives lay before us. All right. We must find and destroy whoever commands these mystery battle mechs. And we must uncover how these smugglers acquired our technology in the first place. The Watch has provided us with some possible targets. But some of their intel may be out of date. Review them and follow up on the most promising leads. I will, Star Colonel. The clan fleet is still months away from returning from the home worlds. Courchevel will be fully secured by the time of their arrival. If we do not identify and excise this rot quickly, then we will need to take more drastic action before our invasion can resume. Aft, Star Colonel. Half star colonel. But are you saying this might be a bad idea to have a person whose faction controls the whole hyperpulse communication system in the whole inner sphere to know exactly what you're up to? I don't know. I don't know, maybe. All right, guys, we got the Executioner. Here we go. Not not my favorite mech, to be honest. I think uh, I'd rather have the Direwolf, but it is not a bad mech either. So let's take a look at our notifications. Executioner, now available to unlock. We're gonna definitely do that. We got the Pulse Laser cooldown and the damage upgrade. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, let's do that right away. Um, again, Executioner, not bad. You know, it's, it's fine to have. We can buy one at a cost of 7 million sea bills. I'm looking for forward to you, my friend. But yeah, um, I think we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this battle mech, right? Um, Science Lab, let's cue some more research. Got some milestones unlocked again. Man, that Timberwolf. It's just a staple. It's just so good. Uh, by the way, people said that I should also put uh, an SRM Timberwolf together. Short range missiles on the Timby or maybe streaks. That could be a good idea as well. I'm very into that. But for now, let's go ahead. And take a look at the mech bay, because we got not the gargoyle, but the executioner. It's look, looking like the bigger brother of the gargoyle. And when I say bigger, I mean it. Now, the cool thing about this thing here is it comes with jump jets and a mask. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the loadout. So as you can see, um, on the right torso, we got two ballistic hard points. We can fill them with bigger guns. And I think I think ballistics in form of autocannon 5s, LB5s come to mind. I think that's what I want to go for because I want to have a ballistic mech that is a little bit more, a little bit more generous in the damage output than our Timber Wolf right now. And we got some energy hard points on the right arm, which is also fantastic. I think I'm not going to use the extended range large lasers necessarily because we've got to keep our weight intact. Um, head is nothing, center is nothing, left torso is filled with a mask, as I said, it's fixed by the way, you cannot take it out, but it gives you a boost of speed every now and then when you need it. There's a gauss on the arm, on the left arm, which I am also not really a fan of right now, so we're gonna drop that and give it a little, little bit more, little bit more, little bit more what? We could streamline by giving it another Ultra Auto Cannon 5. There we go. So we have 91.5 now. Still, we have no ammunition yet. So we go back to the, I would say, left torso and just put all the ammo there. And I'd say two tons uh, per. Yeah. Drop those heat sinks. We don't need them. Okay. So this is the problem. The part space of the mech is not great. You cannot put that many weapons into the mech because the engine is big. The mask is big. Uh, the, the jump jets that the mech carries are heavy. So let's go ahead and uh, put the ultra auto cannon ammo in there and just call it a day, I would say. For now. 
for now. I said two per, so we're gonna fill all the six slots with ammo. Yeah, and that's gonna be a half ton then. Where is my half ton? There we go. So, is it good? I don't know. We're gonna figure it out. What we need, what we desperately need for the mech is better Omni pods. So we're gonna play it a bunch of times on the battlefield to get experience and then unlock other Omni pods so we can mix and match the build a bit better. But I do love the high mounted guns here. All right, let's go ahead and uh, go back to overview, save the changes. Look at all of this. Oh no, our firepower is diminishing. Who cares? Who cares? I like this. Our DPS is better and the mech is cold as hell. So let's go ahead and use it like that. We might overcool because... Oh, hold on. Hold on. There's another uh, heat sink somewhere. Oh, it's right here. No, wait. It is right... In fact, it is here. It is a fixed double heat sink that we cannot change. Yeah, this mech certainly wants... Wants some energy weapons to actually make use of that heat sinking that we got. All right, we got the jump jets in the legs, we got the mask on the side also. Let's actually bring it. Um, give it to Mia and um, let her have some fun with it. Also, modify mech, uh, weapon groups. I want my ultra auto cannon on the right mouse button and the other one on the left. The star mounted one. In case we need it, I'm going to put a chain fire group in there and then melee, why not? Let's go. Okay. Good to go? I say so. I mean, again... We have this kind of one timber wolf that is currently currently working. Naomi, you wanna go crazy on the missiles? We could. Let's do it. Let's actually, let's do it. Let's check out another timber wolf build here. Um, alright. What do we need? We need another omnipod. We need a double missile omnipod here. Which is. Do, 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 do. Could take this one here. Also has an energy hard point. So again, streaks are regular. The streaks have a bit more range than the regular SRMs. I want to check this out though. All right, here we go. No machine gun, just SRM sixes. I like the small laser idea. Center torso is also gonna be a small laser now. Uh, left torso is actually symmetrical, so we'll take this one here. Yes, thank you. No machine gun. Hmm. Let me think. So these are just SRMs. All right, let's put some ammo in there then. Say a ton minimum per. There we go, right torso. So we got five tons for four SRMs now. All right, and the jump jets, that's pretty good. So this mech is kind of mobile, nice. Left arm is gonna be, I would say, the small laser now. And I will tell you why in a second. Right, let's put the smalls in there. The right arm is also gonna be the small laser. Okay. Or is it? Hold on. Is it though? Because with medium lasers, we would be able to also shoot enemy flyers out of the sky. It's kind of nice, man. I like the pro, but it's not necessary. Uh, I'd rather have another ton of ammo. Alright, let's put that in there. Sure, you know what? We're gonna keep the mediums. We have all the cooling in the world. We'd be fine. That means we're gonna also put this to a medium and this to a medium. All right. Looking good. These also need to be medium lasers. Then. God, this make us way too hot then. Yeah, I, I wanted to talk about heat management, but since we don't really have the slots to put any other things into the mech, might as well go medium. Now we are one ton over. So what are we doing with it? A ton. I could drop the jets. I think I will actually. Yeah. Let's drop him. Let's take this hard point here. Uh, where are we? Close. No. Select Omnipod. I have not unlocked it. Hold up. I'm confused. This one. Confirm. Yes, okay. So this gives us more room to work with. And we can also put the SRM6 regular in here. I'm not gonna mix and match Artemis, no thank you. So that, and now a little bit more cooling. And a little bit more ammo. So again, we wanted three tons. That also leaves us with a ton, right? Yes, okay, we're fine, good. So two jump jets only, 
uh, rest is heat sinking. We got a bit of medium laser action. We got the SRMs, and I would say, let's brawl. Oh, this is gonna be amazing. Let's quickly modify and edit the weapon groups. I want my lasers on the one. Beautiful. All of them. Thank you. I want my missiles on the two. Up, 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 up. There we go. And we're gonna put all of the lasers to the six. And I'll put the missiles on chain fire on the four. That looks good. The three I don't even care about. Maybe the torso lasers. We can do that. Cool. This is a timber wolf that's gonna slap. <laughs> we might have a little bit of problems in terms of um, heat and armor, but let's check this out. And Naomi is especially especially cool since she has the missile spread reduction. Let's go in. Let's go in. Did we... We didn't queue a research, did we? We did not. Okay. So, what else? I think ERPPC is still a priority for me. Just heat capacity or regular cooling is also a viable option. Alright, let's get that going. This is just universally good. SRM range, SRM speed, pulse laser duration, pulse laser range. I like the laser range, man. That's gonna be good. SRM range, though. Flamer heat. I think I'm gonna hold here. Yeah, that's gonna be alright. Okay. We are good to go now. So, mission number two. Greater... No, crater investigation. <laughs> or scrapyard. I would love to go to the... I don't know. Let's go to the crater. Mess ...at the Jardin spaceport. I task the second Jaguar regulars with finding our mystery raiders. One binary reported having contacted at least a reinforced company's worth of hostile mechs before we lost contact. The Watch has informed us that the closest former DCMS base to their last known position is a facility that Korshevul Planetary Records call only Aritzuka, or the Ant Hill. Mm. Demi Percenter, what can you tell us of this facility? Not much, I'm afraid. After the War of 3039, the DCMS spent a decade building hidden strongholds, weapon caches, and logistic centers across their border worlds to better prepare themselves for another invasion by the Federated Commonwealth. All Comstar knows is that this facility was built within a series of impact craters. No shit. <laughs> Nothing else. <laughs> is that it? Hi, it is. Kochevo has been a strategic asset to the Combine for only 15 years. It was a backwater before then. So we do not have verifiable intelligence on newer facilities such as this. I do not want the ISF, the DCMS, or whoever is behind this to believe they have the upper hand. Cobalt, the Jaguar regulars have proven themselves ill-suited to handling these raiders on their own. Mm. I want you and elements of the 362nd to take point on investigating these raiders. Okay. Go and investigate this Aritzuka. Acquire any data that may help you infiltrate the facility and make those responsible pay for this infraction. Am I understood? Aff, Star Colonel. Sounds like fun. Let's go. So, we have an executioner now. That's pretty cool. I still want to run my timber wolves, the, the ones that we just built together. I think a bit of long range is fine here on these guys, and these guys are close range dudes. I think we're good. Let's go. Deploy instantly. Let's go. Another option would actually be giving an executioner to somebody else as well, so we gather experience points a bit faster and we can unlock Omnipods a bit faster that way. But hey, it's fine. In we go! Bonk. <laughs> So here Cobalt, we are. Change of plans. What? Your sensors just picked up long-range pings belonging to our missing Jaguar regulars. Okay. Before advancing into the Ant Hill, I need you to investigate. See what happened to the regulars. Acknowledged. Advancing on new nav point now. What the hell? Come on. Staying out in the field just takes on more risk. 
jammed. The regulars might have gathered intel on the facility. It adds risk, but it might be worth it. We are flying blinder than usual on this one. First mystery raiders, and now a mystery base? We've been stuck on this rock for the better part of a year. Why haven't we ever heard of this place? Ezra, watch it with the free birth speak. No telling who is listening. <laughs> Sorry. Ever since what happened to Liam. Yeah, Liam. I find myself slipping into it sometimes. Mm hmm. Why? I catch myself sometimes slipping into contractions as well. I think after what happened, part of us uh -oh. misses his brains in this. Well, you two better get your heads back in the game. I know we are all frustrated being stuck on this rock. When the invasion resumes, Sakan Weaver will not stand for a lack of decorum. All right, we got people coming in. I think I'm gonna hold the choke point. <laughs> That's fun, man. It's not as efficient, though, as the energy stuff that we had. Let's go, guys. I'm jammed. Okay, let's jump. I'm jammed, and then give that guy a bit of hell. I mean, that thing kicks like a mule, right? The jams, then. All right, we did it. Cool. So, executed. Let's get up here, get an overview. Oh, yeah, there's more. Orion plus something else, which is a Thunderbolt. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna hold here. We have the range. It's exactly at our optimal... Why? Okay. At our optimal range there. So we're gonna hold. There's no need for us to go in. We're gonna preserve our armor. Uh-oh. Missiles. Okay, I'm gonna dodge this real quick. Bam! Dodging. Perfect. <laughs> let's go in again. Yeah, there it is. Alright, let's go and attack Mr. Thunderbolt a little bit more. The thing is, we can just stay on target. There's no need to adjust. It's just our visual that's getting kicked, right? Not our reticle, necessarily. Get in there, guys. Come on. Ah, moving out. Yeah. Why not? Oh, big jam. Eh, you wanna shoot my weapons? I can't, okay. Let's go for, let's go for the uh, SRM Timber Wolf. Cause I wanna see what it does to a Thunderbolt. Uh, he pulled back, actually. What are you doing there? Get out of here. Run, thank you. Okay. Destroyed. Got it. Opening fire. Opening fire. Grasshopper. Hey, grass. Mm. Hopper. By the way, Target. pretty pleased with the spread of those missiles. It's insane, man. It's absolutely insane. Look at this. Bam. Almost. Target. All right. Destroyed. He's gone. There's still a grasshopper somewhere. Holy macaroni. I like what I see. Goodbye. Mm. More, please. Okay. Yeah. Destroyed. As I predicted. Little toasty. Little toasty. Got something here. All right. Complete. Got it. Ezra, start evaluating these. I want to know what happened. Okay. Examining now, Star Commander. Yeah, I want to play this a little bit more. It's fun as hell shooting those missiles. Ezra, another one for you. What can you tell us? Anything? Okay. According to this, the Jaguar guards were ambushed here. The binary was able to fight them off, but took three losses. Scattered. Disengaged. Okay. And the last one. Okay, that's the last one. Ezra? They managed to repel the Kuritans and set off in pursuit. They were running towards the anthill. I managed to pull up the nav point that the star captain them. Okay. okay. Another... Eyes up, team. Another they crater. Gotten the regulars, but they will not get us. Cool. Scan mode engaged. Scan mode. It's nothing on the sensors here. I think I'm gonna wait for my long rangers to follow up. Uh, let's not run in there head first. Wait for the backup. Oh, there they are. Here they are. All right. A little overkill here. <laughs> I didn't know what it was. So I just shot it. 
Okay, more forces. Who's shooting what? Alright. One more wreck. Got some turrets. Target. Oh hello. Sadly we missed that. Uh what? A leopard. Okay. Target. Target. Destroy. We have a target down. Again, no need to go in there. Yet. Can we hit the catapult somewhere? Oh there's stuff. Huh? Ow. Incoming missile. Why? Maybe the cat? Uh, I don't want to go in there, but I guess I have to. All right, guys, follow me. On Jaden's coordinates. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, where's the cat? Jump, jump. Let me take this turret real quick. Oh, here they are. Mmm, lots of stuff. Um, I'm gonna direct my friends over to the Scorpion. Well, I'm gonna go for the catapult that's... Uh oh Right here. Didn't hit. No, I did hit. I, d I did hit. So, I want to get the cat! Come on! Because you're an LRM guy, and you got no LRMs when I'm in minimum range to you. But I got short range missiles. What a wasted blast. Alright, here we go. So, on the hopper. Whoop. Ah! It was jumpy. But again, we got direct damage. What's here? Mech destroyed. Oh, there's a turret! <laughs> yeah, I like that we can also shoot at range with those medium lasers. I think it was a great idea. By the way, Ezra, would you please take a little bit of a break? That's a little too much for you. I don't want you to lose any components here right now. What are you doing there? Stop it! Eh, let me get up here. I'm helping! Missiles! Yeah. Yeah, as soon as we are in point blank range, man. These guys are melting. Huh? I mean, melting? Enemy melting? Okay. That'll do. Who's that? We got a banshee. Did Ezra take... Uh-oh. Did Ezra take the bay already? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, you just did. Champion. I mean... I mean... It is risky because we have to be so close to our enemies. Legging... And... Breaking him. Um, breaking him. <laughs> Hi, friend. I mean, this is certainly a little bit more intense. There's ammo as well. Should I take it already? I don't think so. She. Oh, beautiful. Whoop. I think that is all of them. Cool. We made it. What happened to the regulars? Flip over well, to sensors. There. Jump jet fuel. Good. That was fun. I like these brawls. Get, get out of my face. Um, 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 yeah, I'll, oh God, there's so much to find. I'm, I'm gonna backtrack a little because I want to get all of the stuff here. Uh, it seems like we have... Ah, we have to scan the fallen max. Gotcha. No, wait, those were actual resources. Cool. In we go then. Marked for pickup. So yes, I will take the mech bay, the repair bay myself. That's for sure. Because I'm down to 78%. My side horses are a little bit, um, out of whack. Gotta get them sorted. Honestly, I love the jump jets. Empty. Must be another one around here. Scanning. Battle computer says the rest of the binary fell here. I only counted five regulars. All right. Where are the other five? Salvage teams must have gotten to them already. Not good. If that is true, we need to hunt them down before they can escape. Complete. They likely have a dropship close by. Just what we. Star Colonel, did you get all that? Yep. Ah, if that is true, then it is imperative that we ground that dropship by any means. Cool. Ensure they do not escape. Let's do it. Disengaged. I'm here for it. 
Okay, so I'm gonna switch over to the medium pulse laser dude now. Let's go in with Ezra. See what we can do with him. Now that we have upgraded our efficiency of the pulse lasers as well. Let's go. I think comparatively the pulse laser build is better than the SRM build. Oh, here we go. We have a visual on a union and a number of hostiles. Doors are open. Okay, there's a mech bay on the right. Fusion core is currently inactive, but they are spinning it up now. Yep. Are we gonna we'll fight this? Minutes. Like, Before really fight this? Make the most of your time before that ship becomes active. Okay. Target. Target. Okay. I'm on the roof. Okay, 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 okay. Mm, almost got the Edgar, and now we're gonna try to break the cockpit of you. Nah, it's not gonna happen. Oh god. Not quite. Ugh. Something fell on top of the Griffin. Oh, let's get out of here. I need a little cover. Uh, Thunderbolt. Come on. Nah, not optimal. Leg sweep. There we go. Thunderbolts back. Nah, we cannot hit him from the back. I mean, the good news is... Oh yeah, we'll take the Jäger first. Why do you hit his head, man? Where's the cockpit, buddy? Like, right in center. I need to. Not yet. But soon. Pew, 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 pew. Okay, do we take it now? Do I send somebody in? I think Mia could use it. I feel like I'm not feeling it yet. Okay. On the hopper. Right side also because that's where the PPC is. Or just center. Okay, we gotta get a bit closer. Yeah, I'm gonna make my way over here to this one so we can destroy whatever is coming towards us and then I'm gonna yeah, I'll take it. Pew, pew, pew. That's what I wanted to show you earlier. Concentrated blast to the center and the guy is gone. Warhammer. All right, Warhammer on the leg. Look at how it melts away, it's crazy. Next sweep. There we go. Got him. Take that auto cannon away. And uh, you got this, guys. I'm gonna go and repair now. One enemy mech down. Cool. Mine. 67%. Let's go ahead and repair a little. Power down. Systems Thank you. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Field repairs complete. And the cool thing is it just repairs all of our armor. All of it. Yes, we are at 100%. No internal damage yet. So we went into this thing in the right moment. And we also have our ammo resupply. Cool. Uh, what now? We're, we're done? New hostile not quite. There's an archer sitting there. I like that we have water around the sky, so we can cool down all the time. There's no need for heat management, really. Yeah. Oh god. Oh no. That's a little much. Yeah, I'm gonna eat all the damage. Ah! Too many? Headshot? Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm pinned? Friends? Where's the support fire? Thank you. There we go. We got that guy. Alright, on the archer now. Really try to hit his cockpit, which is right in the center there? Uh. God, those pulses. Those invisible walls. Crazy. Alright, we're gonna take that guy. Ah, let's go for center. Ugh. Took a good chunk of damage already again. Now what now? More forces? More dropships? More whatever? Oh, there's a guy. Alright, we're gonna go for another mech again. I wanna I wanna try to do something different. I want to go for the Warhawk now, because I just realized we are in the water. And again, heat management is not one of our issues, so our PPCs, our massive pinpoint weapons, they're gonna be really good here. Where's your Get out of my way! No! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, he's disarmed. Yeah, I got me. Uh, right here. Ah. 
We hit center. Come on. There we go. Man, I love the Warhawk. It's actually quite cool with all the PPCs and everything. Ah, easy. All right, on the hunchbot. Let me go for his head. Ah, we hit side. It's fine. If you move sideways and we barely miss, we at the very least hit his hunch. Oh, there's a doors. Ooh. Oh, let's get back. Mia is at 73%. Maybe it is a... Really? Really? It's barely able to move anywhere. Oh, God. He's like, oh, God. What have I done? Why am I joining this fight? Oh. I wanted to say, awesomes have good hand hitter boxes to hit. Oh, amazing. I think one of our peeps was on cooldown now. No, oh, nice. You need coming online. Was that Battlemaster? No, Banshee. Oops. Refocus on the Union. Take those turrets out. Yeah, but there's a Banshee as well. I can't. I would. S oh, God. Mia. Mia. Target. Um. Go there. Copy. Order received. Oh God. Okay, we need something that has more DPS. Yeah, not Mia. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme give this, yes. Destroyed. What? Jump jet oh wait, fuel. we did it, okay. Jump jet fuel Get out of my face, Victor. Hostile there we go. Are neutralized. Um, problem. Just need to take care of the union now. Problem. Low. My torso weapons Jump jet are fuel not really Sub suited for this. Destroyed. <laughs> destroyed. Uh huh. All right, we're gonna we're gonna take the laser, dude. The nice. Keep up the this is why you need the arm weapons. I could back up a little, or I can use my jump jets. Cool, cool, cool. Mia is at 41. Mia, where, 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 where did you go? She on her way? Looks like it. Oh god, that executioner is barely holding up. Holy macaroni! Ah, let's go with this first. Cannot really reach it. Alright. Alright, in we go again with the jumps. <laughs> Alright. We almost got it. Problem is... Uh, hold your weapons! Hold, hold your weapons! I want to scan this first. Yeah, we're greedy. Anything else? Alright, we're good. Jump jet fuel. Focusing on your target, Star Commander. Mia's back. Please hold fire. We surrender. Uh huh. Disengage your fusion reactor and power down. Now, or we will continue to treat you as a combatant. Powering down now. Low. Reactor spin down confirmed. They are complying. Okay. Jaguar one. Uh oh. Union is powered down and surrendered. Oh no! No eyes on the subterranean structure. Uh, Requesting elemental support. Yeah, I, I request cobalt. elemental support to cut me out of here. Dispatching a star of elementals to your position now. If any rats are hiding in their holes, we will flush them out. I doubt they are much of a threat anymore. I guess we'll just sit tight till relieved. I mean, we're done. We're done. Yeah. Okay. Executioner, critical damage. But that's okay. We didn't lose that thing completely. We need to play three more missions, it seems, uh, until we get the Dire Wolf unlocked. Not bad. I also like the spread of experience points all over the board. That is very, very beautiful. We're missing equipment components right now. Okay, so we're going to clear out the mech components. I don't think we're going to upgrade those anymore. Or anytime soon, at the very least. Okay, we go with this. I think that's a good spread. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, guys, we got some unread notifications. What's going on here? We got the pulse laser range now. All right, and the cooling. Gotcha. Let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, I would say, no, we're going to do that in the next episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, as always, hit the like button, leave a rating, and, yeah, subscribe to the channel if you want more of it. That was MechWarrior 5 Clans for today, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Goodbye.